All right, here's a problem. It tells us to graph the inverse, right? And this is not a straight line. Uh, but what I am going to focus on are the two endpoints of the line that is drawn. So, for example, uh, I'm going to say that that point is a negative 1, 6. And this one right here is 3, 0. So I'm going to reflect just these points over this line, which is this dashed blue line, which is the y line y equals x. And I'm going to find out uh, how far away this thing is from this line of reflection. And specifically, we're looking at a 90 degree angle with it, like this. So it went through one square and then about a half. So we'd have to go through another square and a half at 45 degrees. And that's going to give me this point right here, which is a reflection of this point. On the other hand, I need to consider this other point, which is at negative 1, 6. So again, 45 degree angle, 1, 2, 3, and a half. So I'll go again, a half, 1, 2, 3. And that would give me this point. So I have these two points this one and this one which I need to connect just with a line that's kind of curvy right so I just kind of connect them a little bit like this and that looks pretty good and that would be the inverse line of the black line which is what we started with and that's it that's all you got to do for that one thanks for watching and I hope it's helped you out just to, just to see kind of how a graph works with these inverse functions. So thanks for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button. Thanks, you guys. We'll talk to you later.